Hi everyone, I thought I'd just make a quick video to go through some of the things I thought we uh, didn't cover adequately in class or important things that I discovered uh, after class was over. Uh, the biggest thing is cutting holes in things. Now a lot of you wanted to like make windows in objects like this that didn't have walls of finite thicknesses and the eraser will not erase surfaces. It only erases lines. Okay. And, uh, but however, you can make a hole in a surface by right clicking. And if you right click, you get the context menu. Just click erase and then you've got the hole you wanted. And I taught everyone a complicated procedure for doing this. I'm not going to review it because it's not needed. So right clicking is the trick here. Okay, the next thing uh, is uh, orbit and pan. Uh, you're probably aware that a shortcut to orbiting is to hold down the center mouse button and then you can orbit. And if you want to pan, you hold down the left mouse button at the same time and then you can pan. However, if that is too uh, cumbersome, what you can do is hold down the center mouse button and instead press the shift key on the keyboard and that will do the same thing for you. Okay, the next thing I wanted to uh, show you is that you can use the cursor keys or arrow keys uh, to force drawing along a particular axis. Now suppose I wanted to make a flagpole or something and I wanted to start with a vertical line uh, from the ground here and I want it to be exactly the height of the house. Now how would I do that? Um, I can click here and start drawing and I'm along the blue axis but it takes a certain amount of skill to stay aligned here and if I wanted to refer to the, the, the top of the house I can't really do that. So what I can do is um, press the up arrow and that locks me onto the blue axis and I can go uh, some distance away from the point I'm drawing and I'm still uh, uh, keeping a vertical line. In fact I can refer over to the roof here and just click and I've created a line. Let me get out of the line drawing tool and orbit some. And uh, we can see that that's exactly the height of the house. Now if I want to draw lines in along the other axes, um, this is how you remember. Either the up or down keys enforce a vertical line, which is the blue axis. Uh, to go along the red axis, just think uh, R for red equals R for right. So I press the right arrow key and now I'm constrained along the uh, red axis and the remaining key is the left key for the green axis. So, um, how ca here, here's another way we can use this. Let's uh, orbit a bit here. Um, suppose I want to draw a, a, a rectangle coming out of the edge of the house here that I'm going to use the follow me tool uh, to make some trim with. Uh, now, if I were using the rectangle tool, it's pretty hard to escape drawing on this surface. So let's do it with the, the line tool. And I'll click on the face. It's not too hard to draw it a red line, but um, uh, a red axis line. But if we're anywhere near the edge here, we may have some problems. So I'm going to press the right arrow key. And now you can see that that remains on the red axis. I can click here and now I'm drawing a, a, a vertical line but I want that to intersect with the ground plane which is at the same point as the edge here. So to help me do that I'll press the down key. So now I'm locked on the uh, blue or vertical axis and I can refer over here to the edge and now a couple more clicks and I've created uh, the, the rectangle I want. Now if I want to make some rather massive trim on this house, uh, all I have to do is uh, click on the bottom and now use the follow me tool and um, I've created it. 
Now, suppose I want to put a goofy roof on this house. And let me uh, orbit a bit to, to get perspective. I'm, I want to pull the roof up a little more and then uh, narrow it. Okay, So uh, I'm going to get the push-pull tool and bring it up here. And now I'm going to use the sizing tool uh, to, to try to narrow this. And uh, by the way, if you don't know already, um, See, this, this is, is changing the dimensions of the top here uniformly, but it's not symmetric. And if we want to be symmetric, we can press the Control key, and then we will resize symmetrically to the center. So there's that narrowing, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it with the whole wall, and that's not what I want. So let's undo a couple of steps. And now with the push-pull tool, I'm going to hold control when I uh, push-pull. And look what's happened. It's made an intervening uh, surface here. So now if I want to narrow this top part, and again I'm going to hold down the control key to make it symmetric about the center, I can do that. Whoops. I didn't release at the right time. Let's try that again. Release. There we go. So holding down the control key with push-pull uh, basically duplicates the surface that you're pulling up so that you'll have a, a division here. And uh, you can um, reshape the new volume you've created without disturbing what's already there. OK, let's clear this. And I'll show you just a couple more things. Um, if you want to practice with some of the drawing tools, what you might want to do is uh, use an overhead view. And then you can uh, draw all sorts of uh, two-dimensional stuff uh, without worrying about the third dimension. So uh, that might be something you want to do. And if you just want to do a drawing as opposed to a 3D model, uh, then that indeed might be what you want to do. So uh, let's take a new uh, perspective here. Um, one other thing is that there are always default units. And in this case, it's inches. And if we want to see what those default units are, we can uh, click on Model Info here. And we can see in the units that that's inches. Now, uh, depending on the format, you may not be able to change it. Uh, if you go to uh, uh, engineering, no, if you go to decimal units, uh, then you have a choice between inches, feet, millimeters, and so forth. But if we're in architectural mode here, uh, we're stuck with inches. But the point is, um, suppose I want to draw a 36 inch by 48 inch rectangle. Okay, I take the rectangle tool and start drawing it out here. And then I can type in 36, 48 without specifying the units. And then I get those units by default. And let's use the dimensioning tool to show you what I mean here. If I draw this out, you can see that that's 3 feet, which is the same as um, 36 inches. Uh, OK, that's about it. Have fun, and drop me a line if there are any more questions.